welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel and hit that subscribe button ring that bell to see when i post more videos so today i have a great video for you guys i finally 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 got a sewing machine this is very essential to videos and i have a clothing brand as well and i wanted to start making my own clothing so it is great that i got this this is not a cheap sewing machine it was really good but it wasn't that it wasn't really that expensive so if you guys can see back here this is the sewing machine it looks small right here but it's not small at all <laughs> Like, it's pretty big. It's called the Singer Fashion Mate 5560. I have the box right here. It's huge. So, you see how big this box is? That's pretty big. So, this is what it looks like. Oh, my ring light is messing it up. And it comes with all of these items. I don't know exactly what all of these items is, except for the pedal right here. But everything else, I don't even know. But I know eventually I'll be using them. It also comes with more things on this side. You barely can see. But yeah. And guess what I guess where I got this from comment down below if you're right I'll send you $5 I'm gonna wait a little <laughs> Walmart I got it from Walmart so I've been looking for one for the past week but I always wanted one so I couldn't find one the at the Walmart near my house. So I have went further out, like probably 30 minutes from my house. And I finally found one. So if you guess how much it was, then I'll send you $2. <laughs> I'ma wait. $150, that's not too bad, but it's not too cheap either, but I really love it. It has all these features to it, which I'm going to show you guys in a sec, so yeah, stay tuned. So here it is up close. It has all these stitching functions, which I love. I can make designs on clothing, everything. Don't mind my dirty room or desk. We're showing the sewing machine. That's it. <laughs> so it has Singer Fashion Mate on it. So one of the features I noticed first was this. This goes on right here. But I was told to take it off because when you start to thread your spools, they gave me about four of these. And as well, they had a secret compartment right here where they put all the extra items in, which was the spools, other uh, threading things, needles, and the rest of the items, I said I didn't know what that is, but I'll figure it out. So, they came with a bag in there, like so. And yeah, they put everything in there. You take it out. Then, you can put it back on or take it off. But they also have this little table where you fit right on like this. 
you fit it right on like that so y'all have a little table but given that i have this little desk there's no need for this table i don't have enough room it also came with this case on it this singer case came with that on top of the sewing machine so it was like hitting as well so at first to thread some thread i had to put the spool on here go like this move it over these are all on the direction booklet but i just wanted to show you guys what i learned from it they give you this booklet as well so yeah i put it on here and then you have the thread right here bring it around here uh loop it into one of these top loops and then you press the pedal which is right there you press the pedal and it starts putting the color thread you want or you desire on here so after you thread it like that you can leave this on here because it has to come all the way down to be the top thread the top thread of your needle then another sequence compartment the spool that you just threaded you take it i opened this and i found that it was another spool in there so you just put your color spool in there like so just a little compartment and you close it up and then you thread the needle to pull the color thread from the bottom. But I'm just pulling it because I already know how to do it. And you have to do all this fancy stuff or whatever to get it threaded through the needle. So you don't need one of those. Wait, let me show you guys. You don't need one of these to help thread through the needle because the machine already has it built in. You just loop it onto this hook, pull it down, and then it's a hook on the end of this. Hook the thread on it, and then you push it up, and it goes through the needle, which is very convenient because I always lose those little things. And I only had them because I have a singer hand sewer handheld sewer and i'm gonna tell you guys about that in a second so yeah this is my sewing machine which <laughs> i really love it i only used it one day but i already love it this is also a function where you want to lock in the stitch at the end of the uh cloth not the end of the clothing the end of the fabric so you press that button and it goes reverse and you're locking the stitch then if you want to continue, just press the pedal and it'll continue straight. Yeah, so that's the sewing machine. I'm going to show you guys the um the Singer handheld sewer. Okay, guys, if you didn't skip through this video, tell me what number Singer and what kind of Singer sewing machine I got. Then I'll send you guys five more dollars. So... At this point, I told you guys I was going to show you the handheld singer, which is this. It's really cute and like very portable. You can take it anywhere. But personally, I don't like it. This is why I ended up getting a full sewing machine, which I always wanted. But I was going to try out this because that's all they had at Walmart. Everybody just kept buying the sewing machines and I was being cheap. Like, I'm not about to buy no sewing machine. But then I realized I need it. I really need it for my clothing brand. And yeah, for inspirations. Like, people making thrift things. And I knew it wasn't going to work. Which is um, this. So, this is the sewer. This is the top part. And as I showed you guys that that threading thing i need that to put the thread through here which is so annoying i already broke two so yeah and this takes batteries you don't plug it up so double a batteries 
any kind is fine. I just got my batteries from the dollar store because I'm cheap. <laughs> Close that up. And it has a button at the top right here that you move up like that. So it has a thing that um you turn to raise the needle like that. And as well, you just thread. It's a piece that's supposed to go on here and hold the um, thread. So you just put the thread on here, put it up in a loop right here, put it onto this tightener thing, and then thread it down here. And then you put the fabric underneath, like right here, under the uh, clap. I'm about to sew my hand under the clap right here. And then you just use that and then sew. But it's not as easy as it looks. It's really complicated because most of the time the thread just kept breaking on me. And I'm just like, is the needle broke? Like, how do you take the needle out? I don't even know how to do that. So I just gave up and gave in to a sewing machine, which I'm so happy about. I advise you guys to use a sewing machine, even if it's uh, like a $70, $20 one, it doesn't matter. It's way better than a hand sewer way better so yeah if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up i'll do a video soon another video soon on my ipsy bag that i'm i've been waiting to uh record but i was being lazy and procrastinating you know quarantine got us um lazy and stuff taking naps eating whatever everything else didn't work in so guys i'll see you guys in my next video peace